Right, this is the um, engine bottom end of what will become known as ASBO 47, Royal Enfield 500 Indian Bullet engine, which I've uh, been doing some tuning work on. And um, I've already made before and after videos of the uh, flywheel assembly in there, the crank assembly, how it was before I split it and lightened it and rebalanced it, and uh, how it was after I reassembled it after lightening and rebalancing and truing. And I actually probably got it marginally better than it was before. It was very, very good before this one, actually. It uh, probably only had a, an overall run out of about one and a half thousandths of an inch, as it was um, when I started with it before dismantling it. I think I might have got that down to about one thousandth of an inch. Um, I've got new main bearings in the crank cases, brand new, and they're all in. I've got a gasket between the cases, everything's cleaned up, and I've got the cases clamped together. Um, I always clamp them together first, just in case there's an issue where I've got to take them apart again and get the crank out for whatever reason. But uh, this will be going together, I'll be bolting this up, I'm very happy with this. I can turn this right down to almost at the bottom dead centre there. Let go. Look at that coming back up and rocking back and forth under its own counterweight. That you couldn't wish for better. There's absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. That is spinning beautifully freely. You could just about blow on that and it would turn round. Um, we've got the standard um, floating bush big end in this one. Um, standard conrod which I've cleaned up and polished substantially because as they come from the factory they look like someone's cut them out of a sheet of aluminium with an electric jigsaw so I smoothed that over and uh, polished it up so it's more like the old Redditch conrods were and um, next I shall be putting the various studs and nuts and bolts through the cases and bolting it together for keeps and this is um, Asbo 47 and I'm very very pleased with it. I'm sure it will run nice and smoothly.